is Aaron the Gameplay King, and welcome to Far Cry 4 Part 12. And let's get some ammo. And uh, here's the ball, so let's talk to him and do this mission. Did you even read it? Because I've got some intelligence for you. And it's solid. Nine of my men are dead. Good men you let die. You guys put me in a difficult position. The right choice was obvious! It's what your father would have done. That's the golden path! That's the direction we were going before he died, and it all went to shit. Amita doesn't get it. She's always put her goals first. She's underhanded, she's subversive, and she always sacrifices lives. That's why I stepped up. I stepped up because I knew your father, and I respected his vision. Go to the monastery. Educate yourself, Archie. So we got angry Sabal. That's great. He's not very happy. So now to go to the the Chow Jama Monastery. I hope that's how you say it. Radio Freak, you're out there. I'm here on it here. Now, I hate flying, but I don't need to worry about that. Uncle Pagan here, just checking in on my <laughs> favorite nephew. So tell me, RJ, who are you rooting for so far? Have you fallen into Amitar's honey pots? Or have you been dazzled by Sabal's blowing locks and bad boy jawline? Hey, each to his own. That's your lifestyle choice to make. He isn't my cup of tea, contrary to the rash assumptions some may make about my appearance. I am indeed batting for the other team. You more than most should know that there was only ever one woman for me, my boy. So apparently, I'm Pagan's nephew. I don't know if that's actually real. Well, he, well, he just—he's like, "Hello, Uncle Pagan here. How's my favorite nephew?" nephew? I don't know. It's it's a weird thing, I guess. Once bitch take my truck. You got the dissect the radio freak your out, it's rubbing it on in here. Now I wanna talk about Amita. Fearless freedom fighter, respected leader, and all around badass of the golden path. Not to mention she looks pretty hard holding a gun. Uh, this is my opinion. This is my opinion. I'm saying it right here right now. So Robbie Ray Ron is hitting on a meter right now. Oh, that's a manny wheel. Let's get that. Might as well. I like every time I see a collectibles game, guys. I feel like I have to get it. I'm gonna eventually have to get them, so I might as well get them now, right? Guess we can go to the waypoint now. I'm sure there's a buzzer. I would love to have one. Karma level three, I think. 
Apparently I got bonus XP. I just ran over like three guys. Here's the monastery. So I tell him, figure if the meat ahead. robbed you. How many skill points do we have? Zero. Okay. This guy's naked. Looks like it. What the hell is Raju? That's what we're gonna find out. Probably gonna be cutscenes, so I'll shut up for it. Ah, uh, the son of the great Mohan. Sabal tells me you're ready to learn what inspired your father. Banashur, god of gods, sang the world into existence. For that, we give him thanks. We thank the gods for giving us life. Please, take an offering basket. Take this basket. What was that? That collectible? Nope. What about us? A candle reminds us that growth only comes Interact. to step beyond our usual boundaries. Hey, we got a karma level from that. That's pretty cool. Spin this manual. Interacts. Whoa, that blue fire looks pretty cool. Light it on fire. Awesome. Now let's go back to Raju. Ajay, the intel you recovered, that map, it's the monastery. The army is going to attack your location any minute now. Stay inside. Oh crap. The army's coming to attack. See, that intel did help us. They probably won't come and try to attack us. Do we have any mines? Okay, toggle C4. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get some more ammo. Let's use our sniper rifle. See there? I think we'll see if we can...
Oh, let's get this scoot truck. Got it. Sweet, we got an achievement for that. That's pretty awesome. So we, Andrew, we took out a truck with um, mines and we got an achievement. Enemies have completed their objective. What was the enemy's objective? You all can be upgraded on the crime menu. I get it. To carry more rupees. A little Legend of Zelda crap here, right? So, prepare to defend the monastery. So, here we got some. We'll put C4 on this side for this time. We'll put two on each side. Or at least one. One there. I don't know where they're, like... It said there was, like, something to the right, but I don't know. Let's just run up here and let's get ready to defend. So we got one mine over there, we got two mines over there. What's up, Andrew? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Well, they're trying to open the doors, so let's get that. You know what? If I... Andrew, this is really like frustrating. Yeah, we got that guy.
Oh my god. Dude, I'm almost uh, gonna die. Well, not die, but like, freaking fail the mission. Oh my god, Andrew. Andrew, I might do it. I might do it. I might do it. I might do it. Not fail. Oh my god. You should play it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This mission is like, freaking so hot and intense. Oh, we did it. We did it is what? The law it's long is it long? Nah. It's not that bad. It's like a normal size. I beat it in nineteen parts. You you if you go right through it all and no side missions, it'll be pretty fast. Probably like fifteen hours. And the side missions are fun. I know. Redeem, re reach higher karma levels for reduced cost. Okay. Amida, the monastery is safe. Maybe now it is. I know. Of good intel. If you hadn't secured that map, we would never would have stopped this in time. Good um. work, Kaji. I gave it a 10 out of 10 for me. In my likeness, a, a 10 out of 10. Wow, we beat that mission. The next, guys, we're going to be doing a Longinius mission. Because Longinius is pretty cool. And he's black. And, oh, he's a crazy black guy. So I want to say, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Sunset... <laughs> Not Sunset Overdrive. For watching this episode of Far Cry 4, this is part 11. We did the monastery. We survived it. We did everything. We, that intel did help. Screw you, Sabal. Take care. Leave a like rating.